Welcome, welcome back to Endless Space 2. My name is Brookfin and we're playing as the Vajani. Quick disclaimer up front, this key for the game was provided to me by the uh, Gamers Entertainment Network. So a quick shout out to them and we'll be diving straight back in. Uh, yeah, Rebellion solved. We're not happy for some reason, I don't know. Uh, I did set up uh, this already, invested a little bit of dust into that. And by the looks of, there is some Eden Essence on the market. Can't buy it yet, though. But soon. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Click. It lets me. Don't click. Aye, it lets me click. Antimatter found. Very interesting. Very useful. Going to the next one. And we'll have a new arc pretty soon as well. There's that. Very neat. Still harvesting these guys for everything they're worth. <laughs> it's hilarious to me. Just hilarious to me. Let's see. That guy on this. Let's speed that along. Good. It should be going back, not up. Are they not happy? Yeah, fight. Whatever. Fight. Fight! You. Unhappy, but why? From planet. Ah, okay. So the planet itself. Providing a lot of unhappiness. Why is that? Should be... There shouldn't really be any, like, oh, I mean, they shouldn't have to care. Because it's, they're living on a ship. Not living on a planet, they're living on a ship. Oh, well. Any more happiness things I can do? Not for a while. The research another one, I think. There is another one. Yeah, there is. It's the second one. Don't give me the university. The blah 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 university. Okay, I'll just have to hang in there. Cool. Yep, 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 yep. An unknown empire is close to victory. Oh, somebody is snuck in a economy victory, huh? Mentite. Wow, they've snuck in a colony, huh? They're sneaking in a colony there as well, huh? Okay. Looks like the Sophons are the ones I'll go to war first uh, with first. I'm playing against another Fujani player. Oh, intriguing. Okay. Not sure if we'll actually be at war for the end of the episode, but. The idea that matters. I can pretty much kick him off, can't I? Ooh, that's a big ship. The Smasher. Okay. 
There is 600 something. My brand is 500 something. Hmm. GJX, I will sell. Uh, uh, 213. Oh. That's a button. Okay. Nice. Seven. Oh. Make sure I get extra per turn. Eight and five. Huh. How come do I have so many? Six. Four. Okay. Raise. Do much with them. <laughs> uh, do much with them either. I basically need to save up like 5k or so. Imperial pressure. Minute citizen. Finance campaign. Imperial pressure. Oh wow. Those risks are bigger now. Alright, not exactly what I expected, but sure. Um Yeah, guess we're building another arc. The arc. Come on. You. And Can't do that. Weird. Very odd. You can only play a builder in one place? Yeah, I can only build once per empire. Okay. Well intriguing enough. But yeah, it does look like if I would go to war I would be against the Sophons, because they are intruding on my Grounds. But then again, they're being overtaken by culture. Severely overtaken by culture. Huh. Up, 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 up. Yes, thank you. Ah. Seven now. Eat. Here, a little rebel. Stupid. They'll regret it now. I think. I guess. Let's see. Is there any upgrades to be had? No. Looks pretty decent still. Alright. Didn't make the right. I didn't make the wrong decision then. You're already done. Yeah, you are. Ooh, nice. Imminent uprising. Take action to satisfy their needs. Well, their needs? Bloody dumb. Can't do anything with their needs. Move a hero? Pose? Uh, probably will have to do that. And a sign. And a planet. Happy. Yep. Reassigned. 
somewhere a lot less useful. My humble opinion, that is. They should just be happy with what they have. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Happy sods. Anyway, an arc. Move arc. Into location. Here we go. And I think... Which one are we missing? That's like one more turn. We can upgrade our ships. Come on. If that would work anyway. So why is it pending? So yeah, welcome to the uh, horrors of turn times end game. Or medium to end game. It's just... It's just sitting there. Not doing anything. It's just sitting there. There we go. New trading company created. Nice. And a fight. Oh my, there's a gouge there. the gouge that's okay one we will just go over here and we will retrofit my brands now do 600 and something damage we'll return and to build a gouge after that some weird university thing. She can only be built once. Is it applicable for all planets? Speaking. Where am I building this? Could be on the one place where I should actually build this, which is my capital, of course. Then my question becomes... Is planet only? I wonder about these things, you know? You should reach this destination and have another planet. There you go. Up, up. Up, up. Up, up, up. There you go. Um. Pink. This world would benefit from having a settlement. Like, badly benefit from having a settlement. Or no, they'll have Hadar. Not blocking their freaking... I'm gonna close my borders to you, pal. Pal, buddy! Me. Uh. Yeah. 
More food bugs. Theory, that'd be nice. I'm not sure how much more food we're actually going to be producing. Well, I know we're going to be producing a bunch more food. It's more that we, 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 we would be... Uh, Depending on that, we needed to grow. I'm not sure we're actually growing all that much anymore. I mean, this only affects growth time that much, right? Some growth, plus 505. Is that based on the food? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And if not, we'll find out. You're the home of a trade company soon. Yep. Nope. Go. Nope. Home. Oh, I could choose a new hero. Ah, none of them are really someone I like. Alright, we'll hire a human, I suppose. Hire a human, after all. Um, assign the system. Nice, getting a lot of influence now. Well, in theory, we're getting a lot of influence. Pull up. That means get more influence and level up more industry. Very nice. I wonder, did it give me a boost to my happiness all over? Does look like. Huh. can you do dust oh wrong button again I should just get rid of that thing didn't really work the first episode either or the first couple episodes Probably just get rid of it. And it's gone. Go. Oh. Big fleet. Brr. I could give him more leechers, actually. Not sure what I would do. At this point, I don't really care. We got a new ship class. Got the lance. All right. The 
Lance is officially designed for taking over planets. However, I'm not really down with all that, so I'm gonna make it into a killer ship. Look at that. Isn't that cool? As for the shield, which is more designed to be defensive craft. Not gonna be using that much, if at all. But it was worth having around. Effectively, between the shield, which is a have step the same health, same attack, and effectively the exact same thing. Get rid of the shield. We'll just stick to the lance. The lance is a free. And it is, in all accounts, worse than the brand, as of now. However, as of everything, you can upgrade it. Which one do we use actually? No, the Latum or the Dijinum? Dijinum. Well, they are the same class of ships, so. Yes, we are going for the Dijinum after this. To give us all the extra firepower that we need. All of it. A great more of that. And we should probably go and look. At some of this. But why not, you know? Actually, no. Not quite. More of that. More of this. More happiness is definitely on our table of things that we need. Build a new arc, which is also very important. If the game would actually go forward at all, help. Awesome. Yeah, we'll get there. Two more leechers going up with this one. Each away, six hundred. Nice. Uh, this is uh, twenty, right? Uh. I should wait for the upgraded class. Because I know I'm going to be upgrading the brands again. So. 
Ah, another arc can be buried. Build it out of this one. Seems fitting. Click. If it lets me. I think if I'd play this personally, I'd switch off certain victory conditions. Personally. Imminent victory, see the economy thing? If I'd not do all of the... Um, focus that I do on getting arcs out, I will probably get an economy victory quite easily. Or could get an economy victory quite easily. At the end of the day, it's not really that hard. What doesn't have a settlement yet? Most of them do, don't they? Right, a couple of newer ones don't. Fine. That is fine. For instance, if I just built nothing, right? Yeah, a little less, sure. I can get up to... Six... 2.1... I can get up to 2.1k a turn. Just... Just... Focused on uh, that, nothing else. Let's see the brand. Wow, that's a big cannon. Very nice. Well, that beats that out of the water. That's for sure. Oh. That cheap retrofit. Oh, I pulled the leechers out. And it's actually not a bad decision. I don't know when or when. Holy crap. They are crazy powerful now. Put it out there. So the brand is two. Which means I could build at least two more. But I brand six what I'm talking about. Leaves me with a couple empty spots, because it leaves me with I think two empty spots. I could so take out one gouge. Place it with another Could actually do that. Only two two brands. Goo.
I did say end turn, right? I did. I think I did. Oh man. Am I not producing a Perion on Antimatter? Or, uh. I had a Mentium in Antimatter? I was. So, in theory, I need room for nine. Take out one. Take out the rookie. Alright, well that's one brand more. And we'll bring in basically two more in two turns. Nicely timed. Nicely timed. But this is pretty much the end of this short look at the Vajani. Um, all in all, I think they are the most interesting race out there to play currently out of the entire lineup. Uh, because they're just different. They don't do the standard for ex colonizing game. No, they make ships and sit over a system. Massive ships and they live in them. You have to like purify the universe in order to get points to build ships. And it is a absolutely beautiful concept. I feel a lot more... I'm a lot more into it than I am, or I would be, in uh, any of the other species out there currently. So, I hope you are just as excited about the Fajani as I am. And uh, please tell me if you are. And if you're not, tell me why not. You know, please do. I feel like it a little better, <laughs> especially on the influence point. And, um, yeah, I hope to have given you a solid idea of what the Fojani are all about. So, quick disclaimer at the end. This key, I did get a key from the Gamers Entertainment Network. So, do check them out. And I will see you next week when we will tackle, I think, the Horatio. Yeah, we will be looking at those cloning bastards. Alright, see you next week. Bye-bye.